job on Byrne. Nick Price almost threw that ball right out of Byrne's hands, but the ball actually bounced off Byrne's face. There's Staley from the corner, high up. Oh. I think when they had us ranked fifth in the conference, uh, I think that put a jolt in our system that we knew we were better than that. But it's just the idea of the way our team came together. Um, no selfishness. You know, that was one of the things that I would say. Everybody think because Larry shot the ball at the time, a lot of times Larry would tell, hey, shoot the ball. We had a lot of nice guys on our team. Um, we, never really get, we never really got into it, but it's just the idea that we played together, we came on the floor, and we didn't bring any issues with us. You know, we got out there, we practiced hard, uh, we played hard, we played before the season, and we ran a mile and a half every day, which I'll never forget. But uh, it worked out really good for the uh, entire team, the camaraderie that came together with our team. Beyond my wildest dreams, you know, you dream <laughs> yeah. about things like this. Uh, but, you know, Coach Hart, as you could tell, he worked hard in being where he was at. And I think that rubbed off on us, because uh, I know I've been pretty successful because of him, because, you know, you look at coaches as fathers, because you have to look up to them, they're teaching you, and as teachers. But Coach Hart deserves everything that he's getting, especially in the Hall of Fame, because he's, he's, he's a very nice guy, and he shoots straight from the hip. Bob, what are some of the things that you can see now that you're on the outside versus last year being very much on the inside of the Sycamore basketball program? Well, I think uh, one, of the, one of the most important things is the number of good quality players uh, that we have this time. Uh, uh, we go much deeper than we did in the past. Uh, well, you know, with Coach Hodges and Coach King together, you know, they were the only parents I mean, there were the only uh, coaches that actually came to my parents' house and explained a lot of things uh, to my parents. And, and all the coaches that did come to my house, I felt that they were not truthful. But with Coach King and Coach Hodges, uh, they were very truthful to my family. And, uh, and that's what made my decision to come to Indiana State. Believe it or not, we took one game at a time. And, you know, being at school and the people that just kind of embrace you. Um, looking back those 40 years, it was just a great time. Of, and, and still, when I see it on TV, and I hear people in my home state and in Tampa, you know, still uh, talking about that season. Uh, it's unreal. And see, now, you know, I have a lot of uh, coaches here that ask me to come in and talk to their players. So I think it made a big difference, not only for myself, for Indiana State, and it made a big difference for my family. You know, I had a dream when I was in uh, high school uh, that I would be playing for a team that had sky blue and white uniforms, but I didn't know what team it was. I'm thinking UCLA, I'm thinking North Carolina. But when I look back on it, going to Indiana State, I, when I got my uniform, I almost cried because when that, I saw that uniform, I knew it was something special about coming to Indiana State because of the blue. Well, I just want to say thank you to uh, President Landini, because you know he did some things that, um, uh, and being on the road with us, he was uh, just a person that was just so humble, and I think that meant a lot, not only to me, but it meant a lot to our team to see him at our game. But just overall, you know, just everything in general with the school, with the community, and how they all came together was great. I mean, just totally awesome for not only Terre Haute, but Indiana, period.